Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. My channel is about all kinds of beauty content, makeup reviews, tutorials, all things beauty. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe. Today's video I'm super excited about because I have been obsessed with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette forever, ever since I bought it. It was definitely a splurge product for me. And I've just been kind of trying to find products that are similar because this palette and the formula of Hourglass is just so amazing. So I've really been on the hunt lately for baked and makeup products that are very similar to Hourglass's products. So I am doing a comparison video today. Half my face is Hourglass, half my face is Laura Geller. And we're going to jump right into it. So in the Hourglass palette, we have the shades Finishing Powder Diffused Light, which is a really nice luminous powder that has no shimmer. And then we have Blush Rose Fusion, which is a really nice rosy purple toned blush. It's not purple toned, it's just like a really nice rosy, but like a hint of purple. Metallic Strobe Powder, which is Opal Strobe Light which is a really, really pretty shimmery highlighting shade, but definitely has shimmer in it. Bronzer, it's a Lunar Bronze, which is a really, really pretty bronzer that doesn't have shimmer, but has luminosity to it. Then we have the Blush Diffuse Heat, which is a really nice pink, gorgeous blush shade, one of my favorite blush shades ever. And then we have the Finishing Powder Erythrial Light, which is another finishing powder with luminosity, but no shimmer. In the Laura Geller palette, we have Teeny Glow, which is a very golden shimmery bronzer. Definitely some shimmer in there. And then we have Honey Dipped, which is a deeper golden shimmery bronzer. And then we have Tropic Hues, which is like a purple rose um, mauve shimmer blush. And then we have Honeysuckle, which to me is like a bronzer blush. Not really quite as pink as Tropic Hues, but a little bit of pink in there. And then French Vanilla, which is a nice no shimmer, like, but has powder, it has luminosity to it. And then after that, we have the highlighter Dulce de Leche, which is a really nice kind of champagne shimmer highlighter. And then we have the Laura Geller palette, which is chic to cheek. And I want to talk about some of my favorite baked formula products. So I have been using this highlighter forever. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. And I just absolutely love this highlighter. This has been a ride or die since college. It was dome shaped, clearly hit pan. It's my go-to travel bronzer or travel highlighter. And I absolutely love this highlighter. A more affordable option is a baked highlighter like Essence. This is the Be My Highlight highlighter. This is like $5 and this highlighter is absolutely stunning. Also has the dome shape. It looks like I barely touched it, but I used to use this every single day for like the longest time. So this is a repurchase. I had the original Luminoso and I used it all up. So I repurchased a new one. So this is the Luminoso and the older packaging. And I also have the baked blush pink um dulce pink and these blushes are absolutely phenomenal highly pigmented stunning gorgeous must-haves for your collection i really enjoy the milani baked blush formula and i also really enjoy ciate london's baked formula so this is the warm sand kind of like a finishing bronzing highlighting powder and i also really love this halo blush so, so stunning and gorgeous. This is one of my favorite fall blushes. And a really, really popular product. This is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. And I've heard so many people talk about this bronzer and I finally bought it. And I've heard it's a dupe for Hourglass and it's definitely very, very similar. I really, really enjoy it. I think it's perfect for summer. It is pretty deep and dark, but so it's not like a winter bronzer for me, but I really, really love Love this bronzer. Highly recommend. Super affordable. And another super affordable product is the J Cat You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter. This is supposed to be a dupe for Rare Beauty. 
super super stunning highlighter all right so here's my rare beauty highlighter in the shade exhilarate love this highlighter and it's like all broken so sad but this highlighter top highlighter amazing and i also found this when i was looking for it i have the Too faced this is also baked and i love this i love this palette this is old i don't even know if they sell this anymore this is the medium and let's see where, where this made made in italy this baked palette is also absolutely amazing so i've just really been obsessed with baked formulas lately mainly because hourglasses palette has really really inspired me to kind of branch out more in the baked makeup world also this palette is 90 dollars, which is a splurge for me because that's very pricey um but i bought mine with my ulta points and i had 20 percent off coupon it was like one of those coupons for like 20 percent off one item so that's how i got this palette for 50 dollars. so if you want to purchase a palette like this i would wait for one of those coupons use your ulta points um yeah and sometimes hourglass even has like a 20 percent off coupon on their website so keep your eyes out for those and we're gonna jump right into the comparisons ariel contour brush this is the ariel 3.2 brush and so ariel's brushes are amazing i use them all the time on my channel i think it's a really good brush collection to invest in and yeah his brushes are amazing so i'm gonna go in with the 3.2 brush by ariel and I think I'm first going to go in with the Tahini and Glow, which is the bronzer. So let's see. There is a huge chunk of highlighter right in the center, which has me a little nervous. But we'll see how it does. So it's definitely a lighter bronze and it is shimmery. Like it is kind of making my texture show. And I really have not been into shimmery blushes until recently. Um, I don't like them shimmery, shimmery. I like them to be like an iridescence to them. So, so far, so nice. Definitely not as pigmented as Hourglass, but this is also like a lighter shade. And I think this would be a really gorgeous crease shade, like for eyeshadow. All right, so I'm blending out. I'm kind of trying to stick right on top of my cheekbone because I do have like low set, um, I don't know, indent there. So I'm just blending it out on top. Now I'm gonna go in with the Honey Dip shade, which is a little bit darker. Let's see if I can really darken this up. Oh yeah, so this shade reminds me a lot of flower beauty and the shimmers in this are a little bit more obvious than hourglass i would say i'm noticing right away that there's a shimmer but it is really pretty like it's not like this is what i would love if i was doing like a beach date night where you want the bronze and the shimmer and just look like you're glowing um but it's blending out so amazing it is something, there's something special with baked products that makes them blend out so easy, which is why I'm so excited to try her baked eyeshadow palette. All right, so there's the bronze and it looks really pretty. It was super easy, it's pigmented, definitely more shimmer than Hourglass, but absolutely stunning. So now I'm super excited to go over to the blushes so honeysuckle doesn't really look like a blush but there is some pinkness in there so i'm going to take the ariel a22 blush brush dip into honeysuckle and apply it on my cheek very shimmery but it's really pretty and it's not really like i thought i would emphasize my pores a lot because i do have some texture here on my cheek but really it's not emphasizing as much as I thought it would. But I also don't really see the blush in this. I think I would mix these two blushes together because I don't see like that much pink on my cheek. It's giving me a gorgeous glow. So you could also use this as like an eyeshadow, a highlighter, but I want pink on my cheeks. So I'm gonna go in with Hibi Tropic Hibiscus. 
or sorry, tropic hues. And it has a bit of like orange, pink, red, and it's shimmery. So I hope this gives me more. Um, very pretty. Like I'm seeing it come through, but I was kind of expecting more pigment, but it's gorgeous. Like it's not, it's not that I don't like it. I think I'm just used to Hourglass's formula and I'm used to like Milani's formula. And um, yeah, but absolutely stunning. It's really like giving so much luminosity to my cheek without like, without adding so much texture to my cheek, I feel like. And um, I have like oily, normal skin. I'm really like having normal skin, but it leans more oily. And it's kind of nice because this gives me that like glow, like the clean girl glowy look without giving me like the true oils my skin will make. And yeah. So I don't know. I was just expecting that shade to be more pigmented, but now my cheek is like super, super glowy. But again, like I don't think it's anything terrible, but yeah. So I'm gonna go with the shade Vanilla. I'm gonna put this on my forehead. French Vanilla is like the strobe light shade. Let's see how this does. And wow, like this shade's pretty unique because it doesn't look like it's that much shimmer. I'm getting a pimple on my chin and it's gonna emphasize it, that's okay. And you can like see it, it's like highlighting, but it's like very subtle, really, really pretty. Like I would say the French Vanilla is like a dupe for the Hourglass Ambient, what is it? The Strobe Diffuse, not that one. Yeah, the finishing powders. Yeah, because holy cow. All right, so now I'm going with the highlighter, the Dolce De Leche highlighter. Looks really pretty and really shimmery. And it's kind of like on the darker side of a highlighter. Wow. Wow. So if you aren't a shimmery person, I don't suggest this palette because everything is like giving glow, shimmer, more than Hourglass's formula. But again, it's nothing that I don't like. Like I do think it's like very, very pretty. All right, so this is the Laura Geller side and we're gonna do Hourglass. So back in with the bronzer, which you can see that I use this bronzer every single day. So I know exactly how this is gonna perform. And I'm gonna go back in with the Ariel A32 bronzing brush and kind of show you how simple it bronzes. See how it's more pigmented and how easy I got that pigment versus Laura Geller? Like they already match and this was done in like two seconds. And then I'm gonna go here. Like every single day I use this face palette and I'm just like, Yes, I'm so happy I bought this. That's so worth it. And I just love it. And it's actually my like everyday eyeshadow too. Cause I'm a nurse and I wake up at 4.30, do my makeup. I work in the OR and sometimes I wake up a little late and I will still do my makeup and it's my favorite part of my day. And I will use this palette and it's all I use and it's super simple, it's quick. I'm just like da -da 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 -da, done out the door. But I love 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 doing my makeup in the morning and using this palette and i always listen to a self-help book about meditation positive vibes laws of attraction those are the kind of books i like to read and it's literally my favorite moment of the day which is exactly why my beauty room is like my favorite room in my house and yeah anyway done with my little spiel there but this palette is like my every day i use it i'm like yes so I just went a little crazy there with the bronzers. I was talking, but they match. I mean, like, do you see a difference? Cause this side's more shimmery for sure, but the colors are kind of the same. It's the same baked formula. 
you know? So if you want like a more affordable option, you could totally get the Laura Geller, but I can see a difference with the Hourglass being not as shimmery, more of like a very subtle shimmer and more pigmented, so. All right, so Erythrol, what's this called? No, this is called Diffused Heat is the Blush. It's like one of my favorite blush formulas. Um, I love this blush. So I'm gonna go in on my uh, Ariel A22 blush brush and just show you how it's my everyday blush. And do you see the difference there? Like the pigment? I usually actually have to go light handed with this because it's, I have to go light handed with this blush because it's just so gorgeous. But yeah, so see how quick I got that blush payoff versus Laura Geller. But again, I mean, you can definitely get the same look. Like you see how this is looking like this. But this actually is emphasizing more texture, even though it really doesn't emphasize texture. Like I feel like, I feel like it is, but it's not. But this side, I definitely, 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 definitely like don't see any of my texture being emphasized. Um, Oh my god, I love this blush. I love this palette. So yeah, there's the blush. So now we're gonna go in with this one, which is the Diffused Light Finishing Powder. And I'm gonna put this on my forehead here. I think this is a true dupe for the French Vanilla and Hourglass. I think they perform the exact same and I'm gonna put this here actually. It's really pretty. Like I think it's an absolutely stunning finishing powder. And the French Vanilla is like, honestly like almost a straight up dupe. So, like look at that. You can't even see the difference. Well, I actually put highlighter right there too, but it ended up being like just like the French Vanilla. Okay. So, now, so now we're gonna go with the highlighter, which you can see I use it every single day and a little bit goes a long way. So which one is this? Metallic Strobe Powder. I would say the Laura Geller one actually is more pigmented than this. This is definitely a really good highlight and it's definitely highlighting and doing its thing. But the Laura Geller one is like, pow, like, but some people don't like that. They like more of a subtle look. Like I feel like highlighter really isn't in like it was in back in when I was in college, but I'm gonna hit my forehead and I'm gonna hit there. I'm gonna do a little nose contour actually, since I'm like, All right, so just a little bit of nose contour. And then I'm gonna highlight the center. All right, so Hourglass, Laura Geller. Which one, which one do you guys like? I honestly feel like they're very, very similar. Like very similar. Hourglass is more pigmented but they're very similar. And if you want affordable options, Laura Geller Cheek to Chic palette is an affordable option for our glasses face palettes, in my opinion. All right, so let's go in with the Laura Geller. This is her eyeshadow palette, which is called the Delectables 14 Multi Finish Baked Eyeshadows Champagne Cheers. So this one actually does have a few broken eyeshadows, sadly. A few broken eyeshadows. That's how it came to me. And it's more neutral. Um, so yeah, really excited. So first I'm gonna go with my Sigma E35 blending brush and I'm gonna pick up the shade Bash, which is the neutral shade right there. So I'm gonna pick up the shade Bash and I'm gonna put that into my crease. Oh, my. Oh, my pigment. 
Wow. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in for this because this is getting. Oops, not zoom out. Because this is getting. This might be my new everyday cruise shade. So loving this. Wow. Wow. So pretty. Um, so yeah, Laura Geller's website has some amazing sales. I purchased mine like around New Year's and they were having like the after Christmas sale. And I will have everything linked, like not linked. I'll have everything linked, but I will have like down here in the bar about how much I actually spent on these because it wasn't that much. I want to say the face palette was like $26. Actually, no, I think they were both like $30. Yeah, it was a really good deal. So way more affordable than Hourglass, but you know, Hourglass has its pros. So I'm absolutely loving the shade Bash. I love the way this blend out into my crease. Baked eyeshadows. Where have you been? Where have you been? All right, so now I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go with my Sigma E25 brush. And all right, so I'm gonna go with the Sage shade Social, which is that one. And it's like a dark brown. I'm gonna tap it out here. Wow, you guys, big eyeshadow. Wow. I feel like I had a baked eyeshadow palette from Avon back when I was younger. And um, yeah. And it was like, all right, it got like hard and like crusty after a little bit, but all right, so I'm gonna go on this eye. So both of these like formulas are matte and they are really, really nice. Like really, really nice. Like I'm gonna say like this eyeshadow formula is like, um, you know how much I love Anastasia Beverly Hills, love her formula. Hers is very, like, a different formula, but the blendability, it's so blendable. Like, I'm truly impressed by how stunning and blendable these shades are. I gotta buy, I'm gonna buy her, like, more neutral palettes now. You know what I just remembered? I used to have a highlighter by Laura Geller, the Swirl. I'll have it, like, linked here. Not linked here. I'll have a picture of it here. But, you know, I'm talking about the gold swirl that you would, like, highlight with, everyone was obsessed with. I used to have that too and I loved it. All right, I like this. All right, so I'm gonna take that same shade and go underneath my eye just to do a little bit of like smokiness down here. But I really wanna keep this neutral. I wanna create a look that I would wear every day or that I would wear. I don't wanna do something super dramatic because I know this isn't 2016, 2017 anymore. I'm trying to get with the trends. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with one of these shimmers. So I'm gonna go with the shade Dance. <gasps> All right. So I'm gonna go with the shade Dance. Oh, wow. Dance is like, it's like gray. So whatever was like on top was very misleading because it's like a gray eyeshadow, which I mean, it's not terrible, but not the color I thought it was. This this shade's kind of weird because I'm gonna show you. I mean, those eyeshadows and go everywhere. Look how it like. Do you see how it's different colors? Weird. I'm so mad I got that eyeshadow all over my new white rug. It's not white, it's cream, but I'm still just so annoyed right now. All right, so this is definitely like a dark gray, which I never would have gone in with if the color wasn't misleading. But I guess that's a good thing I used an eyeshadow that was not well, so I could like fully experience the palette, you know? So I don't know if it's like an expired. 
So I don't know when my camera stopped rolling, but it's a totally different shade than it was in the palette. And I would have never put this dark of a silver shade like right all over my eye. So I'm a little annoyed with that as I keep applying it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade, which is called Toast. I hope it's light. I don't know if you can see it. Hmm. So this is kind of a fail. I like the formula, but the shades are not the same as they should be. Like, I don't know what's happening here. It's like it gets so much darker and gray once you like... And I purchased mine from her website, so I'm so confused right now. Like, look. Like, I don't get it. And I like totally ruined the eye look. Dude, I look crazy. Like, I would not wear this. This is like a gray, shimmery, hot mess. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed now on the eyeshadow palette. I think I just picked the wrong kind of palette. I don't know. All right, I think I'm done with the eyeshadow. Like, it's gonna look like a hot mess express in my cover picture, but like, I don't know if I can keep continuing this. I'm just gonna go in and like blend this all out. But the eyeshadow, okay, so I'm gonna say the eyeshadow's a fail because this is, this is not good. Came shattered. These two shades were not what they said they were, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm done with that palette, so that's that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna finish up the eye look. And so right before I was gonna do mascara, I thought of a great way to fix this eyeshadow look. I'm gonna go with the shade Dulce Leche and apply that on top of this silver to see if I can, I mean, look at that, to see if I can just fix this. And so far it's getting a little fixable, but like for real, I had no idea what was going on there. I'm sure she's had, she has better eyeshadow palettes out there than that one, but I don't know what happened there. Okay, so that kind of helped to put the shimmer on top of the gray because I don't want to ruin like, for my inner corner, I'm going to go in with the highlighter and the hourglass palette. Alright, and then I'm going to apply some mascara. Alright guys, so the makeup is done. I will have to say I really did not enjoy the eyeshadow palette. There was a few shades in the palette that I thought were really, really nice that really impressed me right off the bat. I think the matte shades in the palette are nice. However, the shimmers, I was really shocked at how the shimmers had like the top layer that didn't match the shimmer underneath that. Like it was weird. It was like two-toned. Yeah, hot mess. But um, I made it work and I really think Hourglass, I really think Laura Geller is a good alternative to Hourglass. I think the makeup looks just as good as Hourglass. However, I do think Hourglass's formula is more pigmented and just better, but I'm happy I have both. Um, so that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in my next video.